Hello everyone and welcome back to another NRG, this time on the Amstrad CPC yet again of course on the Novabug channel. And this is Double Dragon, the Tecmos Classic. Um, and this has got a bit of a funny story behind it on the Amstrad and this is why I'm playing it. Two different versions, one vastly bad, one vastly better. And we're going to go with the worst version first, and I will tell the story as I play this. Trust me, there will be plenty of time to tell the story, because this game runs extremely slow. Billy Lee going in slow motion. Now, aside from the okay graphics, I mean, it's colourful, it's defined... Um, it's okay looking wise, I mean, you know, drawn okay, I could forgive it, but I'm not going to forgive the speed of it, it's absolutely terrible, that, why is it running so slowly, it's unbelievable, you've got terrible, really rippy, jerky scroll in there, it's a trait of a, of a programmer who doesn't know how to program on the Amstrad, um, you have to program well to get scrolling good on the Amstrad, and if you don't, it comes out like that and it's shite, there you go, he's grabbing his cock as he has a quick jump there, the moves are here. I mean, all the moves are here. There's the there's the the kick there. The look, the back kick is even there. The elbow doesn't work much, but it does there. The headbutt, all the moves are there, but they're just so slow to pull off, slow so to act. The collision detection is dodgy at the best, and and no sound effects. Well, pretty you know, popping a little bit of a pop here and a bang there, and that's about it. No music, of course, at all. Not a single blip. Very, very disappointing. A lot of people in the UK got this version of Double Dragon. They didn't get the second version of Double Dragon. And the reason why, it's it took a while for people to work out what happened here, but it's quite straightforward. Two, di two different versions were made. Um, Virgin Mastertronic had the license from uh, Tecmos to do it. And they commissioned Barney Design, and, a t and, a and the team working on it at Barney Design were not very good and not very great at the Amstrad and came up with this pile of poo. Now, they were, Virgin were very pissed off about this to say the least, they weren't happy so they got another version made by the legendary Richard Aplin who made the second version which was 128k only, only could work as a disc on the 6128 but by that point, nearly every version that was released on tape and disc ported out was this version, known as the Melbourne House version. It became infamous. Uh, so the French basically got the good version more dis distributed to them, while nearly every UK Amstrad user got this pup, which is just one of the weirdest things ever. It's a very strange story, and the same sort of thing happened with Double Dragon 2, its sequel as well, but not quite the same. But that is the story. Most people that played Double Dragon on the Amstrad would have said, "Oh my, well that that's uh, that's rubbish." I mean, it's slow and I mean it's drawn like Lego blocks. It's colourful. I mean, they give it that. It's colourful. There's but there's, and there's so much space going on that it's just so it feels so empty, absolutely empty. Um, the movement is just terribly slow, terribly slow. There's no act. Isn't you don't feel you feel like you're getting into the action. This is a fighting game. You're supposed to feel energized action there's nothing like the what's been done before like the renegades of this world even dragon ninja was vastly superior to this and when you play it back to back with the um the good version you can see exactly what i mean i mean it looks it takes him like a whole second to pick up a bloody whip and some of the graphic differences are just just odd um for instance with a weapon you can hit someone behind you like that which is weird that that just there you go that's weird and the whip, the whip action is wrong. It's the same animation as the uh, baseball bat. And when you get a Bobu coming into it, he, he doesn't even he doesn't look right at all. He's all two D and flat and crap. I mean, at least he busts through the wall. I'll give him that. You'll see that in a minute. But um, yeah, I mean, it takes about this is a ten minute NRG, and it's going to take about ten minutes to get through the first level alone. It takes about five minutes in the original arcade and. Um, original um, remake version of this. Wasn't saying the remake version of the other version of this. So the graphics there of the beetle in the background pretty good. And Bobo's going to come through the wall in a minute. So you get him through the wall, and then oh, um, 
So he looked right as he was coming through the wall, and then all of a sudden turns into this sort of like circus strongman thing. It, very sweaty and oily. Doesn't look right. Just doesn't look right at all. And again, the plodding of it, the slow, monotonous jerkingness of it, it's just so awkward, so... Ah, I want it to speed up, and now it's going even slower when there's three sprites on the screen. And and, and the fact that there's no music with it as well, not, nothing to even fill in the gaps, it's, it's just plagues of silence. It's very painful to play. Very painful to play because it's just so unbelievably slow with the... God knows what the frame rate is. I mean, it's absolutely abysmal. It's such a shame because it looks not too bad. You could have got away with its looks. I mean, it's not perfect. I mean, like I said, there are things about it that don't look right. But if it, if it ran right, if it had a bit of music and it ran right, it might have been passable, but it's just not. It just runs so slow. Collision detection is bad. The responsiveness is pretty shoddy at the best of times as well. At least you can pull off all the moves. I'll give it that. But it ain't a patch on the remake version. No, I, again, I said the remake version. It's it's not a remake. It's an alternative version, a superior alternative version. I will leave a link up in the um, box at the top to uh, the NRG on that, the Richard Applin version. Again, published by Binary Design and Virgin. Uh, yeah, just odd. I think I think this one was a, was was distributed by Melbourne House, which is part of Virgin. Um, but the second one was by Virgin Mastertronic themselves. So, there we go. It's it's an intriguing story. I mean, many there was two different versions for many games at the time came out on several different platforms. I mean, you got um, two different versions a lot of the time on the Commodore, an American version and a European version. That can be understandable, but the CBC wasn't in America, so that never happened. But what you would get sometimes would be versions that were released on the continent because the CPC was big in France and different versions released uh, in the UK and especially when it came to disc and tape some versions would be different on tape than were to disc but I mean not just enhancements in memory wise just completely different here's um, Brutus at the end here he's normally red isn't he they made him black here which is weird I mean, you can't fault it for its diversity quota, I guess, for the gangsters. <laughs> that knife is just floating, and, he, and, he, and it looks like a candle. He's just thrown a candle away. It's a candle in the wind. Mm. It just takes so long to beat these guys, though. It's just... To get on a level par with them, to get on, a, get on the right hit plane, is... Ah, see? No. I've got one of them, and he was just standing there, punching away in them. And you got a bit. Interestingly, though, when they fall down, you have got a bit of blood coming out of their mouths, which is a bit of an interesting sort of thing they've added in the graphics. I guess that's kind of kind of cool. Uh, unnecessary, but kind of cool. Again, these these graphics are just drawn from fresh. They're nothing. They're not lifted from the arcade or any other version. They're just drawn from drawn from scratch. And noble as the effort may be, it doesn't doesn't do the game justice at all. Not at all, especially considering the, the, how everything's moving in such slow motion. Colours have been nice use of colours, though. I mean, I've got to give, I've got to look at positives here somewhere. You just can't get away from that frame rate. You can't get away from the scrolling. You can't get away from how boring and slow everything is. It's fighting gangster styley in slow motion. Every, everyone's on bleeding. Everyone's tanked up on marijuana. And all going in slow motion. <laughs> Here we go. That's not a whip he's holding. It's a great big bifter. There you go. Have some of that. Uh, I've, I've just dropped it. And I've, for some reason, I've dropped it way, way away from me. I've thrown it over there. It looks more like a hockey stick, doesn't it? Another bloody whip. No noise as well. Terrible. Awful. But we're, I think we're kind of come to the... the Scroll it along a bit here for what that what want of a better word, and we'll try and beat this guy, and that'll be the end of the mission. And that's enough. That's enough as I can tolerate, and probably enough that you guys can tolerate as well. There's another guy here somewhere. Where is he? Oh no, he's throwing a barrel at me, and I can't move because I'm going in slow motion. Thank you very much. But I've killed the big guy, and that's the end of the mission. And that's enough for that. So now we move on to the best version, the better version.
Thanks for watching. I'll see you on that video. Cheers. Never bug. Out. Good grief.